Hello, my name is Simone Kaluji. I am a co-founder of Black Girl Knit Club, a knitwear designer and lecturer. I'm Vanessa Carrington, um, co-founder of Black Girl Knit Club and interior design manager. Well, outside of work, I guess I love, sounds very cliche, love to knit, love knitting, love embroidery. Um, I also enjoy running, um, cycling, um, yeah, and, and love dancing as well. <laughs> For me, outside of it, I like to unwind, so I like to obviously do something creative, which is something crafty, such as knitting, but as well as um, just drinking a good glass of wine and a good movie. A group of friends that make you feel like you can just be who you are. You don't have to kind of put up a front. I think um, also when I'm being creative, like Vanessa mentioned, when I'm knitting or kind of just really engaged in a project where my mind can just be quite free, I think that's when I feel the most free to kind of express myself and one, be at one with my body, I'd say, yeah. And for me, um, I just like to express myself in different ways. So I like to also meet new people and also just be in a place where I know there's no judgment zone. So being with a good group of girls and just unwinding, that's, that's when I know I can express myself fully. I think being who you are, I think is being true to yourself being um i think also like um investing in your passions you know whatever whatever kind of drives you or motivates you so whether that's you know looking at styling or you know drawing anything that way where you can fully express yourself i think that's that's for me that's what means like being true to who you are yeah and for me i think just showing up as my true self mm. so just being um unique so I know there's not another person who's like me so I know just being able to express myself showing up as that person and obviously being a mother as well right now I think that's enabled me just to be as unique as possible in terms of our dynamic as well. I think in terms of um, Black Girl in Knit Club our, our, one of the biggest milestones was us was having our yarn stocked in Liberty that was a really big milestone it's our own product we is when we had been to Liberty like maybe a year before um, and walked around and it's almost like we had manifested it. And I was like, what? imagine if our product was here, we're like, oh, we'll have it here. And then we were approached and we had it in the shop. Um, at the same time, having our book was a massive milestone. That's what I bought during lockdown. Um, and having that published, it's now stocked in Liberty, it's online, it's also in French, it's also in the States. That's been like a massive milestone for us. Um, one of the challenges I would say definitely was within like lockdown. We couldn't have like our workshops we had in person with people. We had to kind of rethink our whole strategy. We had to do everything online and still engage with our community. And obviously knitting is quite, it's quite hands-on. You have to be in person with people in a situation. So we kind of struggled through that, but I think we made it on that and through the other end. So that's been a challenge that we've pushed through. I think obviously being welcomed obviously just helps me identify as myself in terms of being in this establishment. I think it just helps me to just be free and be able just to be myself and be normal. Well, we were both born and raised in East London, um, but are both um, of Ghanaian heritage. And I think East London, for me, is a mixture of a lot of things. Um, it's about community, you know, um, I remember Kind of, I went to school, went to Scotland near Forest Lake, so like Green Street, you have like all the different kind of sari shops and all the different kind of communities kind of merged together. Yeah, I think adding on to that, I think there's just a, a hub of just creativity. So mm. I think being linked to the craft and creativity scene as well, I think it's been a, a good um, establishment for us as well. Um, and also, growing up in East London all our lives, also we used to the grime music, we used to going go to markets on Saturday mornings mm. and stuff like that. So just being around that and us being able to link craft and community, I think it's been, it's been great. If I think about like knitting and craft, I think I'd say my mother, my mother really inspires me. She's, she's um, passed quite a few years ago, but like this kind of being determined and always putting your best foot forward. Um, I think for us as a brand and us obviously working with young women and girls, mm -hmm. it's always our motto has always been to inspire, inspire women through craft um, and trying to empower women through skills and making. Because, you know, I think um, community always starts with a woman and kind of uh, bringing people together. And I think that's kind of what inspires us to kind of give back and 
when we see all these different women come to our workshops and they're kind of learning new skills and building their confidence and we had like a black woman in craft series that took, took uh, we did over Instagram and Instagram live so giving women a platform to really share their skills and inspire the next generation so I think that's really what's what kind of pushes mm. us to kind of keep on going mm. yeah. uh, for me it would be um, just creativity at the, at the bottom of it creativity for me allows me to also be in, or enables me to be who I am and it enables me just to be successful in certain aspects in terms of my interior styling in terms of projects that we do in terms of just craft as well just bringing women together and just making sure that community is fed by community I think that's Creativity definitely does inspire me, but a particular person would be also my son, my newborn son. Um, it, he allows me to be able to also come here today, as well as just being able to um, just put my best foot forward and succeed for my family. Luxury, um, in touch with the community, mm. more than three words, and creative. Yeah, I would say chic, eclectic and definitely inspiring. For me, um, especially the Liverpool Street um, Hotel and where, where it's based, um, I think the location is definitely important. So I think Anders Brand is definitely in touch with the community and linking that of artists and making sure that everyone is being seen. Um, I, for me, I love that the Anders Brand is very inviting. I think it's a very modern space and even walking through doors today, it doesn't matter whether you are um, a young professional, a young family, um, it's a space where you can come and work, you can come after drinks, you can come on a date, you can bring your children. It's kind of, a, and it's in the hub of, of hub of East London, Liverpool Street, there's like Spitterfields Market. So it's kind of a place where you can, it can take you from day to night.